Hello guys, welcome back to another Android application development tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about how to remove the default action bar and how to add a toolbar. When you create a project in Android Studio, there is an action bar available in every Android Studio project. So the action bar is the part of the application theme. So for getting a unique view on different variety of devices and for adding more functionalities to the action bar, you have to remove the native action bar. Instead, you have to add a toolbar or a bar. So when I run the project, so here is the action bar. This is the default action bar of this application. So now we are going to remove this default action bar and we are going to add a toolbar. So first step, we have to remove the default action bar from the application. So open manifest file, find out the theme of the application. You can find the theme within the application tag. Here is the application theme. Uh, it is referred from styles.xml with identifier app theme. So we have to find styles.xml first. Open resource folder, open values folder and here is styles.xml and here is the current theme of the application it is app compact light dot dark action bar so i have to change this one into no action bar now run the application now we successfully remove the default action bar from the application now we are going to add a toolbar go to the layout so in the layout, we have a text view. So from the component tree, I'm going to delete that text view. So first change the design surface into blueprint. Uh, you can find the toolbar from the containers. Select containers and here is the toolbar. So drag it into the layout. Now specify the layout width into match constraint. So it is a lot of content. Um, layout width into uh, match constraint. Now create the constraints. Now create a constraint at the top. So now here we successfully place a toolbar. Now we can check the design. So here we place a toolbar. Now we can check the layout XML file. Here is the newly created toolbar. <clears throat> and here the background of this toolbar into color primary. That is an important thing. You have to specify the background color of the toolbar into color primary of the application. So you can find the material design color patterns from the values folder. There is a XML file called the color stored XML. Here you can see three color patterns, color primary, color primary dark and color accent. <clears throat> so you have to set the color primary as the background color of the toolbar. So now I run the application again. So in material design, Android material design color, color patterns, the status bar color is the color primary dark and the toolbar color is the color primary okay now come back to the layout so here the minimum height into action bar size okay now come back to design so now we place a toolbar in the activity main.xml so when we run the project we got it in the layout so now uh, we can use this uh, toolbar for the identity of the application, we can place the application name on the toolbar. But here it is not visible because we just place a toolbar on the layout. Now we have to set the toolbar as the default action bar for this application. That is the next step. You have to do it from the main activity.java file. So create some variables for toolbar. You have to make sure that you select toolbar from the support library version using find view by id yeah i forget something 
Now go to the activity main.xml, select the toolbar. We have to change the ID of the toolbar. So I set search for ID and now the current ID is toolbar. I change that one into my toolbar. Okay. Now come back to main activity. Now find that ID R dot ID dot my toolbar. So here we have <coughs> available of toolbar. Now we have to set this toolbar as the default action bar for this application. So call this method set support action bar into toolbar. Now we successfully set the toolbar as the support action bar for this application. Now run the project. Now here the application name is listed here but it appear in black color. This is because the current theme is a dark theme for the toolbar. So we have to change the theme into a, sorry, current theme is a white theme. That's why the text appear as black. So in order to get a white font, we have to change the theme of the toolbar into a dark one. So go to the layout file, select the toolbar and in the attribute window search for theme. So here is the theme attribute. So we have to select a theme. Uh, we have to apply some dark theme. So here I am going to select theme overlay app compact dot dark action bar. Or we have to use theme app compact light dot dark action bar. Yeah, I select this one. light dot dark action bar and click ok and that is not a right theme search for dark action bar yeah I've come back to dark action bar this one okay so now I run the project again So now we apply a dark theme for the toolbar so the font appear as white. So if you want to if you wish to change the title on the application you, you can do it in the main activity for that just use this method get support action bar and call the method set title. We change that one into my application. So now uh, update the application. I change that one into my application. So this is how we remove the default action bar from the application and how to place a toolbar instead of it. I hope you understand the concept. For getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now.